people, people, people. You know who it is, Arsenio Bug reporting live from Bangkok, baby. Welcome back to the Arsenio Show. Man, we're going to do something good today. We're going to do something real good today, baby. I got back the one and only Kimmy K, baby. Kimmy, welcome back to the podcast. It's so good to see you back. So, Kim, what we're going to do today, we got some questions, okay? Mm-hmm. What we're going to do, you have to ask me five random questions. And then I'm going to ask you five random questions, but we're going to ask each other just one by one. Yes. Okay. Now, again, I actually just brought her in. We're getting ready to end this class right now, but I said, oh, to hell with it. Let's have some fun tonight. So, Kim, how do you want to start this bad boy off? Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? Um, yeah, you go first. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Question number one. Uh, let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. Uh, if you can wake up in any country tomorrow, which one would it be? Oh my God, seriously. I have no freaking idea. Come on, you got something. You got something. Any country? Any country. You want to wake? You want to wake up in Bulgaria? No way. You want to wake up in uh, America? No, you don't want no no gunshots. No, okay. Yeah. Well, where do you want to wake up? I don't know. I want to wake up in Thailand, but not right in the Bangkok. You want to you want to wake up uh, not in Bangkok. Yes. You want to wake up in Thailand, but we're in Thailand. I want to wake up. At Nana, you want to take some pictures? No! She wants to take some pictures at Nana, huh? No, okay, you don't want to wake up at. Okay, okay. So where? Let's just say, would you like to wake up in? Uh, would you like to wake up in Africa? Yes. Okay. See, there we go, people. See, I'm telling you, there are some people out here <laughs> that are open minded, just as I am. And so, okay, okay, Kimmy. All right, all right. That was good enough. That was good enough. Okay, all right. Uh, now stop it. I don't care about no audiences. You ask me a question, Kim. Let's go. All right. So your first question will be, when was your first date? What? what when was my first date? Yes. Oh, my God. It was a long time ago, right? First date. I remember I had a girlfriend for six days. I had a I had a little bit of a friend with benefit, a little geek. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That was that was sophomore year. When was my first? Ooh, hey, ooh, ah, okay. Here we go. First date. Yeah, it was this Filipino girl. Her name was Christine. We went to Del Taco because you know mm-hmm. you ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? You know, black people ain't got no money at the time. <laughs> but we went to the movies. And we watched a terrible movie, but after that, I, I just got too uppity. I started doing a lot of crazy things, and uh, I think I, I kind of pushed it to the limit. That wasn't good. See, the thing is, as all you gentlemen out there, you do not need to push women to the limit on the first date. Okay, you need to be calm. You need to be cool, and you need to be collective. Next question. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, Kimmy K. Let's see. Would you like to learn, um, would you like to learn Russian? Oh my god, why does it have to be Russian? R- Russian, just, okay, what language would you like to learn? I would like to learn Chinese. Why? Because then I can know if Chinese people talking shit about me. I'm behind my back, you know? Don't see the thing, I think, no, I, I think, see, that's why I need to learn Thai. Because I know when people are talking bad. I know it when, you know, parents, they grab their kids and throw them by the side and say, oh, black man, stay away. Nah, I know. See, I like it, though. But the thing is, I've never seen, Ch- you know what, no. Chinese people, they do be talking a gang of shh. That's, that's true. That's true. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, ask me another one. Let's keep it going. Okay. We got five minutes, baby. So, what was the scariest moment of your life? What was it? The scariest moment of my life? I think the first thing that comes to mind is 10 years ago. Man, I got stuck on a goddamn mountain. I never told you this story. I never told anyone this story. But, baby, we li- okay, this is what happened. Me and my best friend, Andre. Yeah, I said it. I said it. From the Bronx. No, he's not from the Bronx. He's from Puerto Rico. But he lives in the Bronx now. We went up this mountain. And I thought, you know, the mountain was going to be perfectly fine. It was Sunrise Mountain in America. Well, not America. Las Vegas. 
But then I realized, like, the last 10 minutes of climbing on top of the three hours that we had already been climbing, Uh it was just almost like a 90-degree angle. Like, if someone were to slip, that's it. And it got too dangerous. So when we got to the top, it was like, oh, my God, yes, of course, the most beautiful view of all time. But at the same time, I said, God damn, how how are we going to get down? And so me and Andre, we got in a full-fledged argument on the top of this mountain. Mm Mm-hmm. And things got a little crazy. And he said, boy, you better calm down. I said, don't you tell me to calm down. God damn it. We stuck on this mountain. We going to die up here. It was already 3 p.m. Uh, uh-huh. We was going to die that day. And the next thing you know, I said, boy, you better call 911. He said, call 911. I said, you better call 911. He said, call 911. I said, boy. He said, no, nah, you call. I said, give me the phone. I ain't trying to die today. <laughs> and the lady thought we were bullshit. She said, excuse me, sir, what did you just say? I said, we are stuck on top of the goddamn mountain. She said, no, you ain't. I said, yes, we is. We at the South Tower. Mm-hmm. And she said, okay, well, what's there? And I said, well, there's a big-ass power box, and there's a bunch of computers, and y'all just landed a man up here just like 10 minutes ago. And she knew I wasn't lying. She said, okay, we're sending up a chopper to come get you. We heard the chopper come, the police came just scrolling up in, and then it just got it just got ugly, and it got ugly fast. Because this police guy, he got out the helicopter, and he just looked at me like, boy, you stupid as hell. And he said, you know there's a road to get down. I said, well, there ain't much time to get down. Mm. And he said, if you don't hold on to the rail and inside the helicopter, you will fall out and you will die. I said, well, thank you very much for reassuring that. It was it was probably and you know it's crazy. Me and my brother we almost got in a fight. I know I like to mention it all the time, but me and him almost got in a fight and it just got crazy. Family was angry and stuff, but that was definitely the scariest moment, man. And it made me so goddamn strong. Next question, baby. Next, what? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. So let's get. Hey, it, but there weren't any. There weren't any gunshots. Okay. So I'm. You know, there weren't any bobcats. Uh-huh. I didn't have to use my gun. My play gun, my little toy gun. <laughs> so, uh, what was your most embarrassing moment? Oh my god, this is like kind of long story, but well, I was I was four years old. Okay. And um, your diaper fell off, or no? It was kind of like the most like weirdest kind of moment of my life because mm-hmm. that day I went to Seven Eleven. Hell yeah! And then uh, I left my dad in the car. You left your dad in the car. <laughs> yeah. So you were driving and you left no. your dad in the car. I, I went with my mother. Okay. So the dad, dad, my dad uh-huh. was in the car. Uh-huh. And then I tried to, you know, peekaboo him uh-huh. outside from the outside of the car right. to his window, you know. Uh-huh. And uh, that day, the same car, just like my father's car, uh-huh. was parked, like, you know, next to him. Uh-huh. And then I was like trying to pick a boo, and then I was like, ah, pick a boo. And then I saw the other guy in the car, and I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, this is not my dad. Where's my dad? And my mother said that he's there, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And that was like the embarrassing moment. I, the most I, embarrassing moment. Of I've life. actually, I've actually opened up car doors. By accident, uh-huh. and there were like, there was like one girl kissing her boyfriend. Oh my god! In Thailand, I said, "Who are you? Get out! Get out this damn car!" <laughs> and then, then my friend was like, Whew. "She was like, hey, over here." I said, "Oh, sh- you know what? Y'all continue kissing. I'm so sorry about that. Y'all have a great day." This man was gonna shoot me dead right there. He was gonna pop a cap in my ass, baby. So yeah, but it ended up being all right. It ended up being all right. Okay, so you asked me one more question before we close this bad boy out. We're only doing three questions today, people, because one, goddamn battery's about to fall out. Two, we gotta close this bad boy out. So keep on going. Okay, so the last question is comparison between American women and Thai women, please. That's too hard, man. That that's gonna take about three hours. Okay, here we go. What's the comparison? I mean, what do you want? Well, okay, what do you want me to compare exactly? Um, the way they dress, or maybe um, the way they act, the way they speak. I don't know. What do you see in Thailand? What do you see in America? 
In America, you would get a smile. I would get a smile. Uh huh. So if I'm wearing a suit or if I'm wearing anything that's like fitted to my body, women would literally come up to me in the store and say, "Hey, how you doing? You mm-hmm. look very well, Jess." I'd be like, "Oh yes, uh, yes I do. What's your name?" Oh yeah, well they, you know. Uh-huh. But here in Thailand, they say ah, and they run away. Why? So that's a good. You you know exactly why. You know exactly why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying is because of this. <laughs> exactly. So. But um, American women, I have to say, American women are far more open-minded, obviously. Uh, Thai women are beautiful, but the thing is, the personality, and especially their attitude, doesn't compensate for it. Uh, th- it's very difficult, because if an American woman, if she works out and stuff mm-hmm. like that, yes. her, her ego is unbelievable. Yes. So these girls, sometimes they come in the, the, the gym with spandex on, and they're like, oh, hell yeah. I'm the hottest thing on the planet. If you try even waving at them or smiling at them, they'll just blow you off. But then again, I've seen Thai women. I saw one girl. She didn't even have a bra. She was just, she had her like her ass out. She had them hips out. And she was like doing tricep extensions. She uh-huh. was like, hell yeah. I'm sh-. And everyone was looking at it. I mean, I think it's the same. But the thing is, if you say right now, AJ, Arsenio, whatever your name is, do you have an opportunity? What is the biggest opportunity of actually having a girlfriend? Would it be in Thailand or, or America? Mm. Obviously America, just because the open-mindedness, the willingness to accept, mm-hmm. and just not saying, hey, white man only, or you know, you know what I mean, because yeah, yeah, some yeah, racial yeah. issues out here. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got, people. That's all I got. So Kim Kim, congratulations. <laughs> It's it's good it's good to see you back. It's good to see you back. Uh, well, we need to do this much 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 more often. Uh, but that's all we got for tonight, people. So Kim Kim, tell everyone a uh, peace out. So peace out. Okay. That's all. <laughs> the, 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 that's perfect. That's perfect. That, you a damn. That, that's a damn shame. All right, people. That's it. Again. I'll see have, you guys later. See you guys later. Have a wonderful morning. Afternoon. And evening. This is your host, Arsenio. Thanks for tuning in to the Arsenio Buck Show. Bye! Over and out.